Okay, we're going to try to go into a little bit of line numbering. Now we can take and select this whole line, and then we can go into properties, or we can even simply type tag spell it right line number tag brings up this assigned tag and let's call this plastic oh one we'll sign it Okay, so now as we go over top of each section, the tag, line number tag, Plastic 101 is in there. Okay, so now we want to say we want just, let's take one section at a time, go easy. Say we wanted to make this branch, this pipe, <clears throat> and not, and we're going to make this a field weld. So let's, let's go down each weld on the uphill side, select them. And you can change all your welds in the field welds. If you can remember which ones they are, uh, have some sort of pattern, that would probably, probably be the easiest. But here under properties, Go down, and these are going to be field welds. Okay. So, these become spools, we'll call them. So, I'm not getting rid of this on my there okay so what I want is to select this fitting this weld this weld this pipe and this weld and this one so we can do it this way it does most of them and let's see, that's how they look when they're selected. Okay, so we've selected all, but this one here is a field weld, remember. It doesn't show up that well. But anyway, let's go back to line tag. line number tag and call it plastic one oh one that's fine now just double check and assign it we know that the rest of this is also oh one but we're going to fix that but let's select this again one more time Okay, and what you do here, after you assign something, you want to isolate it, hide the object. 
So you see the world hanging out there, and you do not see your, well, you don't see anything that uh, can confuse you. So in this case, let's select that, get that, and get that. We do not select this there. And let's go back, find number tag, and let's label this two. And now we can right click on it and we can add to selection entire line number. So it selects all the line that particular number and now you want to isolate it and hide it so it no longer is interfering with you. This is the secret. You get rid of it and hide it so it doesn't interfere with you anymore. So now you line number tag and we'll call this number three. And assign it. We double check that. And you, as you open this up, you can see it that way. It's plastic three. Or you, you also want to add it to your selection, the entire line number. And then you want to isolate it, get rid of it from your vision. Now you saw the the red lines. They stay in there, uh, and they're okay to be there. Now I'm going to try this. Ah, I missed. I can deselect this by that and then make sure I deselect that. See, you got the red lines available. That's pipings. Don't worry about them. Okay, so let's uh, do a line number tag or let's go another route. Properties, tags. And you see they got one, two, three. So you can see that you're on number four. You can say new, which brings this up, and that's four. And then you can isolate, hide objects. And you continually do this. This one here, that was uh, four. This one would be five. And it's easy to remember. Forget what you number you were on. That's five. And isolate it, hide it. And if you leave stuff behind, that wasn't a good selection. There you go. Uh, that was five. This would be number six. And you right click on it add entire line number and then isolate it so you keep on getting rid of the lines that you completed i forgot what line number i was on so let's go back to this properties and 
We're on number seven. And then you isolate it, hide it. Okay, line tag is number eight. We tire line number and we isolate those. And so we tool got them all gone. And we name this number nine. And we can get rid of it all, or we can just bring them all back. Okay, so now they're all. You gotta make sure that you get the right. You gotta get the weld in right. You know, the, see this here doesn't say much about this, but if you right click on it, uh, do a properties, you see it is a field weld. So. This is how this is broken up and created. So now you can create ISOs and ISO creation, and you can do the production ISO. And there they are, all the line numbers. And I'm going to put a pause on this after I select all these because it's going to take some time. But anyway, let's create these. So we have asked production ISO to create ISOs. And this is where they are kept and produced. And you will see plastic one drawing two. And this is a very clean output. If you get duplications or a two dot a two hyphen a or hyphen bunch of letters, you know a lot of basically split this up. Drawing two would be or ISO two would be many different uh, many different sub letters. So, anyways, that's when it's bad. So if you were to open this, this is the drawing that is produced. And that is uh, complete. So you want to make sure that you, you got the uh, field welds. I think which one is this? This is two. There should be a field weld mark on this. I guess it's down here. And I don't see a field weld mark. But let's try, try number three. It's not marking on this drawings about the field welds, but it does tell you the continuations. Some sort of setting is not quite correct, but anyways, that's the output. It's clean, and that's what you need to look for is the one two the drawing and the starport XML that's what you need to do.